Okay, so talking more about these macro buttons that we have on our devices, it's truly art of the possible. It's, you know, whatever you can do. Uh, so one of the things that we're using, we've got a report issue button. So if I click that, it allows me to create a trouble ticket without my name tagged to it. Uh, so what we notice is that when people come into a space, if something isn't working, they'll just leave and find another room. But from a facilities per perspective, we wanna know, you know, let us know what's not working. So we created this, it lets us know, hey, you know, there's a technology issue going on. I can type in what's going on, hit okay. Actually puts this into a space in the WebEx app that our facilities team is monitoring. So they can see, oh, you know, there's something going on in this room. I'm gonna go check it out. Some other ways that people have used these macro buttons, uh, we have had customers who have created buttons that go right to their actual ticketing tool. So people have service now buttons. Uh, we've heard from a lot of universities, they have their Uber Eats button in you know various uh, classrooms. Some customers have rideshare buttons for Uber or Lyft, they click that and it's integrated. Uh, you know, one of the more interesting ones, uh, contact a medic in case there's a medical emergency in the room. So again, you know, it's really, truly art of the possible, like any Anything that has any sort of API integration, you can put the button on. And that's what we really have to think of these devices as. I mean, sure, phenomenal collaboration experience, but also think about what workflows can you automate because that's really where this stuff becomes super powerful.